Have you smashed that subscription button yet? If you haven't, please do so. This is Newsmatic Notes with Benjamin, and I am Benjamin, and I'm going to share a short video with just four banknotes tonight, and let's see if you can't find out what is special about them. No, no, please don't look there. Please don't look there and see what's special about these notes. I have a Republic of Haiti, one gourd. <laughs> I have a Costa Rican, 20 colones. Let's see if I can't make it where you can see that whole note. I have an Isle of Man, one pound. And I have a Haitian 50 gourd. <laughs> and you might be thinking, what do these notes have in common? Well, um, everybody who was a subscriber to my channel is going to know very soon. And those of you who are just guesting, please subscribe to my channel. I'll get into more detail about what's neat about all four of these banknotes. Let's start with that Haitian note. This banknote is um, made out of Tyvek. Tyvek is one of the world's first attempts at having a banknote that was polymer-based. Uh, Tyvek is a trademark of DuPont, and it was discovered in the 1950s, and it was um, patented in the 1960s. And it's used for a lot of things. It's used for clothing. It's used for packing of medical instruments. It's used for shorts now. <laughs> Some design firms make clothing out of it. Uh, the, homey, the, the home construction industry constructs lots of new houses with uh, wraps that are made of Tyvek. If you go to the post office, you can get Tyvek mailing em envelopes for free. People that like to make kites like to make them out of Tyvek because they do not tear. They cut very easily, but they do not tear. And it was thought that this would be a good polymer for banknotes. Yes, Tyvek on a banknote was the first polymer used for um, a substrate. And so it even beats the typical polymers you see nowadays. Uh, one reason they stopped making Tyvek notes is because the Tyvek notes are supposed to have had smeary ink and adhesion problems with the tropical locales that they use this in. And um, I'll show you a few circulated notes and you tell me what you think. I think it's a load of hooey and that there may have been some politics at play. This first note is a one gourd from Haiti. Haiti um, had their banknotes made by the American Banknote Company, and that's who uh, developed and licensed Tyvek <laughs> with DuPont. So it makes sense that uh, countries that had banknotes printed by the American Banknote Company would be the ones that had a lot of Tyvek. Um, in fact, trials may have been prepared against the knowledge or without the approval of the home countries, where they just put in a page of Tyvek and had the note printed on it instead of paper. And then they were taken to the central banks, and that's when the marketing began. Let me show you. One of those countries that had trials made out of Tyvek was Costa Rica. And Costa Rica was impressed enough that they decided to, hey, let's just have some Tyvek notes. Take a look at it yourself. This note is a very fine bank note which means it saw some significant circulation in Costa Rica. And do you see any ink smears? Do you see any lack of adhesion of the ink to the paper or to the uh, Tyvek substrate? No, I don't either. Not even on the backside. But me thinks that there were some people, Crane, who probably hated the idea that a paper wouldn't be used on a banknote. And after a few short years, Haiti and Costa Rica stopped making their notes on Tyvek. And it wasn't for some years later that uh, Australia developed the process and the current polymer substrate that seems to be widely used around the world. Beautiful note. Uh, catalog values don't reflect at all what you are actually going to pay for these notes if you find them in the wild. And if you find them like me, I would buy them in uh, used condition because new prices are prohibitively expensive. 
This banknote uh, from the Isle of Man was not printed by the American Banknote Punk Company. It was presented by Bradbury Wilkins or Wilkinson, which was actually owned by the American Banknote Company. And they didn't use Tyvek. They used Bradvek, which was Tyvek, but has that special name because it was a different company. And whenever, um, I guess, the American Banknote Company divested itself of Bradbury Wilkinson and Delarue purchased it, the Tyvek notes of the Isle of Man went by the wayside as well. I have my friend uh, from my coin club to thank for this bank note because he bought himself one and he just knew I would want one too. And so he bought one for me too. It was one of the nicest gifts I've ever received. Ronald Spiza, that's you. Thank you. That's a call out to Ronald Spiza and a request to you to push that button and become a subscriber to my channel. Now the last note I have to share with you is that big old honker from Haiti. This is from the same series as the one gourd. It's also a product of American Banknote Company. But unlike those other notes, I found or I got this note in the wild. It actually came in over the counter at the coin shop. And I squealed and made such a big deal about it that the guy who owns the coin shop just gave it to me because of some of the work I do for him off stage. But here you go, a Republic of Haiti 50 gourd banknote. Um, I guess there were a couple of varieties of, of banknotes. This one actually has little watermarks in the um, in the Tyvek, um, but they also released some that didn't have that watermark in the Tyvek. And if, actually, whenever I first got this note, I noticed that there was something different about it. I thought, has this note been varnished? It looked like it had been varnished. And then I I got a closer look at it, and I saw those watermarks, and then I thought, huh, now this is weird. Because up to this point, in my in my knowledge, I had thought that the one gourd was the only one that was um, Tyvek. Pulled out the catalog, and sure enough, a Tyvek note in the wild. It seems to hold its creases very well, but uh, just like the, <laughs> the note from Costa Rica, it doesn't look like that ink has any problem adhering, and nothing smeary on it, so... I think that that was a, lo a load of malarkey, to be polite. Uh, Tyvek notes are fun to talk about. They're even funner to collect. And if you can get your hands on some, what a great addition to your coin collection and your banknote collection. Um, this is Numismatic Notes. I'm going to ask you one more time to consider smashing that subscribe button and liking and sharing my page to yours so that we can share with other people the love of our hobby bank notes this has been benjamin swaggerty i'm sorry this has been benjamin with numismatic notes with benjamin i hope you have a jewel of a day